eight more invites, three more people. God, I want the 20 bucks. Guys, if you haven't downloaded Sweatcoin yet, check out. Link is in the description below. And the previous video was discussing that. But today, we are going to be looking into Bitcoin and Ethereum. No distribution around the world. My name is Michael Kubera. Thanks so much for joining us in today. If you are a crypto enthusiast, I want to thank you for choosing Kubera as your airlines. Strap in your seatbelt. Let's get into it. Let's begin the video off with this. Bitcoin nodes, what are they? A full node is a computer that connects to the Bitcoin network. So an Ethereum node connects to the Ethereum network and that helps because the more nodes we have, the faster everything can be. The most popular software implementation of full nodes is called Bitcoin Core. So now that we know that, let's get in. The dark web is not as large as we thought, but we're gonna get into that in another video on Avi. If you're not subscribed over there, we're approaching 71,000 subscribers. I'm excited for that beautiful YouTube silver play button. I've never received it before, but that's at 100,000. Maybe it's possible we can get it this year, maybe at the very beginning of next year, but distribution of BTC and ETH nodes across the globe. So this is a study. Not everything is exact, but there is a rising of popularity of cryptos. Of course, everybody got into the hype recently. I went into a salon actually, and I told her that I was interested, the lady that was doing the weird stuff on my face, told her I was interested in cryptocurrencies. She asked me a question, hey, do you know what Bitcoin is? Have you heard of it? I was like, Wow, this, she's she's stupid, but <laughs> so almost every country on the planet hosts mining rigs and almost everybody has heard about Bitcoin or at least a lot of new individuals. So there's more and more nodes coming up every single month and a recently published paper examined everything, everything. So anything from the price of electricity, internet connection speeds, Tor network relays, and other factors included. But in terms of electricity, the price data was obtained from Wikipedia, as everybody knows, for their homework assignment for school. Wikipedia is skewed. Not only that, since the information is editable, the data was obtained from official government sources. So of course, governments in underdeveloped nations are probably underreporting or in certain cases, overreporting. Regardless, electricity price is not determined to be a huge factor for most countries. And also, the second section right here is quite important. The technologies studied in this paper are relatively new, so historical trends are not definitive. The initial group of regressions reflecting the prices of electricity are cross-sectional and only represent the period between 2013 and 2016. Extensive data regarding the geographical distribution of nodes at the present point of time are not available. Best to do it again in 5 to 10 years. So, let's go into Tor relays and node distribution. If you aren't a user of Tor, Recently had an interesting update. And there's more and more people who are using it around the world. It's been seen in the Arab Spring, but as you guys know from Avi, it's used as well for darknet and purchasing stuff off of the marketplaces. Tor relays are less than discreet. You can find instructions if you're interested in creating a Tor relay on the Tor's official website, but you have to notify your internet service provider about that, and some may not be interested. Thanks to Bitcoin nodes, that would explain some of the Tor relays popping up. Iceland seems to be a huge haven for cryptocurrency miners. Electricity prices are extremely low. Iceland boasts high speed access to over one gigabyte in certain areas. And due to the actual weather in Iceland, thanks to the cold climate, the cost of cooling the crypto mining rigs is extremely low. But if we're going to look at the map here, which I've mentioned this website in the past before, this is just a screenshot from it from deep.web. The problem is that all the nodes are out there, so it's kind of violating your privacy. Some of the Deep Onion administrators were upset with this being published, but hey, as of Friday, December 4th, 2015, you already saw 5,029 nodes. As of October 17th, 2018, you see 10,063 nodes with the most coming out of the United States of America. Next is Germany, France, China, Netherlands. 
As previously stated, Iceland is not the winner of nodes, but it is a great place for crypto miners. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Russia. Russia, of course, has a lot of that going on. Poland actually has really high speed internet. It's extremely cheap. Electricity isn't super super cheap but it's way cheaper than in the united states so a lot of european nations are in that sweet spot where it's cheaper than north america it's still more developed than asia obviously africa south america and that's why you see a lot of traffic suddenly in germany netherlands france Woo, that is a bunch going on there but of course you have quite a bit in south korea japan china the usual crypto culprits you have a couple in africa in south africa even in nigeria in angola you have some everywhere around the world except antarctica which why is it so huge on this map if you're interested in finding a tour relay or for setting up one of my yourself instructions on how to do so are available on torproject.org we'll probably see an increase in bitcoin nodes and tour relay points you might see 15,000 20,000 100,000 in the future we appreciate you choosing kubera if you enjoy this video please leave a like comment subscribe and share see you guys tomorrow we're committed to providing the best cryptocurrency comment i don't know why i'm saying we because it's just one of me but hey